In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to assign a teacher assigned lesson. Um, you can also find instructions for this in your teacher success guide, and it's specifically on page 79, adding um, teacher assigned lessons. So in order to add a lesson, we are going to go to assess and teach. From there, I'm going to be working with instruction right now. And so I'm going to click on the instruction. And specifically, I'm going to be assigning math. This is where you can monitor how your class is doing. You can adjust lesson instruction. But since we're talking about adding a lesson, we're going to go down here. Recently, I created that third grade intervention group. And we're going to say there are some second grade skills that my intervention group needs. And so when I click on two over here under grade, I am able to just get second grade lessons. Or you can type in the lesson name that you want. There's a lot of things that you can do. But I feel like I need to add by breaking apart two digit numbers for this group. Maybe they're struggling with that. You can assign multiple lessons, but I'm just going to choose one for right now. Once you click an arrow or click a box, you always are gonna look for that green, move on to the next screen. And so in this case, if I had scrolled down here, that isn't there. So once you click the box for the lesson that you want, you want to then go to assign online lesson. Now, before I actually click on the online lesson, if you click on this lesson, you can preview what the lesson looks like. You can look at the quiz. So there is instruction, practice, and a quiz in this lesson, and they're saying the estimated running time is 20 minutes. I am not gonna click on these right now because it's gonna take me into some other screens, but I want you to know that you have that ability. Also, it's really nice when you're in this part, it's telling you the exact focus standard here that these students are working on. And I'm gonna close out here now. So I look through it, I know that's exactly what I want and I'm going to click now on Assign Online Lesson. Now, when I click on my classes and report groups, you could just choose specific students, but I'm gonna assign this to my intervention group. So I'm gonna go ahead and click there, and then we need to go to our green arrow. And here, all the report groups that I have made are now available. So I'm going to check, check on my third grade math intervention. If you want to assign it to your whole class, you can do that. But in this case, I'm just assigning it to my third grade math intervention group. And then again, I go to my green arrow to then assign. Once here, you have the option to give a due date. If you give a due date, once that date expires, the lesson will then um, go away for the students. If you leave it blank, it'll stay there until you delete it. So I'm just going to leave it open right now since maybe I'm not sure when I'm going to get a chance to work with this intervention group and I want them to have access for a while. And then we're going to go ahead and click Assign. So now I have assigned that lesson. I have the option to assign more if I wanted to. If you go up here and you wanted to, you can manage your schedule and you can see at this point, I only have that one that I've assigned. I can cancel if I want to. So I'm gonna move that here. I could cancel. If I click on the lesson here, I can cancel the lesson for all students. So if you accidentally add something, you're like, oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Just go in there, click that plus sign on the lesson and then you can edit and cancel for all students. Also notice here, I can edit and set a due date if I want to. And if you view details here, again, you have the opportunity to look at what the practice and the quiz and everything looks like. So hopefully you found this helpful. Once students actually do the assessment, you can view class progress. And this is where you can see how they're doing and looking at their lessons. Um, in another video, we'll talk more about these alerts and how to work with them. But in terms of instruction, again, we would go to assess and teach, instruction, math for online instruction. Then we go find the assessment we want and then assign online lessons and go through those screens. If you have any 